Okay then, time for us to finish the UC quest line. on the comms towards the end there but it sounded like this was a success got everything we need to put this plan in motion ah best place for them now my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there but do I have it right that Vic Victus knew about this damn plant that's what it sounded like <laughs> guess the old admiral must have told someone what he learned even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond it's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? She's pulling my leg, right? Hadrian? I don't believe she is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain. Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Someone who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Good. We'll all meet back at mast outside the cabinet chambers. They're going to want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Um, ooh, more XP. Okay then, so time for us to head back to the man, the legend himself. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. You guys already know the way there, we've been there before, so we will go ahead and appear in front of his cell. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be on to something big. Did you find what you were looking for? Look at that smug smile on his face. It doesn't matter. Now what in the heavens would make you claim something as ludicrous as that? Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Now, last time I... What's the word? Didn't side with him, but I did cover for him. So maybe we'll try the opposite way this time. And then I can tell you guys which way ends up being better. <laughs> you know, you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Simple to say now, but with the outcome... 
outbreak raging from a barely understood source. The moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter... She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. I feel like I quite like um, this character's story, right? So I feel like it's a good question. If you discovered something that, I mean, let's talk about the UC, right? That were, these guys were using these Terramorphs for as weapons. So they would definitely have taken this knowledge and used the Terramorphs as a as an even more potent weapon had they had the Lazarus plant's knowledge. So him burying it did in fact probably save more lives than he took. Even if we consider that some of it maybe will be self-serving right now, right? He's still mostly looking to help his daughter as well as himself, obviously. And he's not like, he, he has a savage disregard for the t statistics of humans, right? He only cares about the people he knows. 
and the rest of them is a, is a zero-sum game for him, right? If he can save 101 lives by killing 99 people, he would probably do it. Which doesn't make him completely bad, but definitely questionable. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew... Why? Did he say why he did it? <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. So you're telling us that the attack on New Atlantis was Ve Victus's responsibility? Just like the dooming of Londinian. Oh, that's insane. All that, just to help restore the family name. How did he ever think that was going to work? Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. I'm sure he did, but he killed dozens of people, and I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this Don't might think be this. our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Yeah, that's good. And here we go. So you basically get the final votes on everything here. Uh, la, la, la. Hopefully, Sarah doesn't hate me too much when I... God damn, people just revving engines for no reason. Uh, when I choose the guard dog option, because she seems to like the microbial one, which I would probably use, mostly because of the desperation, like... Having a giant animal that's supposed to try and hunt down all those heat leeches is just clearly not effective, right? I, like, with how widespread those creatures are, the microbial one for all it feels dirty is probably the option to go with. Better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Nope. Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. 
Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vey Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. You could still request him to be spared. He's proven how dangerous he is and that safe them. He's like, uh, what's his face? Nelson Mandela. Was Nelson Mandela? Can't remember. There was a guy in the prison anyway that influenced people to... Uh... I'm thinking the wrong person. Nelson Mandela's Africa, isn't it? Um... I'm inclined to agree, Captain. What's the guy's name? Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. I like this one. Um, Tell the I don't think it makes much it. difference. Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Indeed. Open relations at this point would be critical towards maintaining peace. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No. I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kolkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech's presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps. The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I'm in full agreement. No need to be delving into unpredictable sciences. Here's hoping they'll be kept on a short leash. Mm. That, madam, is most certainly the plan. Order, please. 
I like how they actually respond to each other. It's quite good. On. Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. So ultimately, it's not making a difference right now. Marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division. Making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. All right, let's go back to where it all started. 12 key! Mm -hmm. Go see Twala. Shall we? Okay, so let's go speak to friend, our friend Twala. Where is he? Why is it telling me there? What's that? Talk to Will Emma Wilcox. Oh, that's uh, a mission, that's why. Right, let's go speak to Twala. He's upstairs from where I am right now. How to say, this is a first. Never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. About to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Boom. Higher ups wanted to make sure you know, but with all that, there are your standard, or you could help the team. Oh, and I got any of those missions called to you? Not really. Missed a chance to ask where the realty office is. Eh. Vanguard space mission. Of course. Captain. Something up. Cool. So that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next one, I'll show you guys how to get the penthouse because I feel like that's a video people will probably end up searching for. So I'll catch you all again very soon. Just randomly got more credits added. Very nice, isn't it? I'll uh, catch you guys again very shortly.